You guys know how much I love collecting. It's just in my blood, you know, finding little interesting things, whether I'm hunting around in nature, in the woods, looking for little things, rocks, shells, you know, whatever on the beach, or, you know, I'm, I'm out and about flea marketing and I find little things. You know, for me, it's never about anything expensive. It's never anything that's um, priceless. It's just interesting stuff. I'm just drawn to interesting things. So I'm always looking for a cool way to showcase them. I always want to find a different way to capture a little scene. And so I am constantly on the lookout for pretty pieces of glass, you know, just something elegant. And I'm always looking for something that's a little taller or something that has a top on it or any form of a terrarium kind of a deal that I can find, I'm drawn to. I also think that glass, when it is clear and all brought together, makes such a beautiful, little scene, you know, to push all these gorgeous pieces together. It's just elegant. Even if there's nothing in them, I just think it's so pretty. So today what I want to do is just a quick little wonderful project with you. You could make a few of these and separate them throughout your house. It would even make a very cool gift. I feel like this would be a fun gift to get. So I've already created a few of them for you and then we'll make a couple of them together. So just to give you an idea, for instance, if you're trying to create a wonderful little scene, if you will, that's um, capturing perhaps a memory. For me, this was a great example. I have this wonderful old candy jar and I just took the top off of it. And I think it's just pretty with the top sitting next to it even. And then I have these cool old pictures of my grandmother. My grandmother, um, when she lived with us, this is my French grandma Lucy I've talked with you guys about. And um, I have these peacock feathers here because my grandmother was the peacock lady in our house. Our peacocks would literally wander up to her little back porch and she'd feed them nuts and things. So, you know, I put these peacock feathers in here and it's just a beautiful little memory. Or I've got this wonderful tiny little jar and I filled it with all these wonderful little baby spoons and little rattles. And so that to me is another version of a memory jar, but it's just pretty little silver pieces that where are they gonna go? You know, I don't wanna put them in a drawer. That doesn't make any sense because they're beautiful and they pull at my heartstrings and you know I love that kind of stuff. And then I have another one that's really neat. You know, say you have something that is, you know, very breakable or precious or something. This is actually my trifle dish out of my pantry. So clearly this is not gonna stay here for too long because you know I like my trifle. <laughs> but um, I have this darling little Limoges tea set that my mother gave me years ago. And so I've just set it in the bottom. This way, little Gus won't be able to get in there and I can put it somewhere a little higher and we can still look at it, it'll be beautiful. So those are a few little ideas of things. Then I thought I would show you, you know, just simply, this is a great glass vessel. I've had it for a long time. Sometimes I put candles in it and stuff like that. But you know, I also think it's really, really pretty to just put a few nature elements in it. And you know, it doesn't have to be too much of anything. You know, I've got some gorgeous shells here that I've gathered with the boys down at the marsh. And you know, those are just so pretty, you know, scattered around in the bottom. And all these little nature elements are too, cheers, are typically things that, you know, I gather up with the boys on our walks. We found this actually a week and a half ago, a beautiful little, um, fungi that was on a tree. So, you know, just some pine cones, some bird eggs, a little um, beautiful feather from the wild turkeys on our property. You know, just all those wonderful elements. And, you know, I kind of fuss around with it until I find a way it looks, or something like this is fun to do with the kids, too. And then another one that I thought would be fun to do is, you know me, I'm ever collecting critters. Um, both, you know, my donkey and all those critters. And then these little interesting, I'm very drawn to little interesting um, animals and things. And sometimes they're broken. This one, he's missing his little antler. But I thought they would be so pretty just tucked into one of these glass jars, you know, for safekeeping. And there's just sort of an elegance about them. I mean, this little guy is so beautiful. I got him in Hong Kong. And, you know, it's another one of those things. I'm just always hunting for these little guys, I won't pay too much for any of them. And people that I know, um, you know, family know that I collect these sorts of things, but isn't that darling? These little marvelous, beautiful animals, all different textures and things in this pretty little jar. So you know what, this is just a simple way to take one of your collections and celebrate it. It could be whatever you've got in whatever way you want to do it. You could move them all together on the middle of a table and create this gorgeous centerpiece or vignette. Or you could create these and put them on a bookshelf, however you like. But, you know, it's just a fun thing to do. It's relaxing. 
and it's just so artful and I know you've got a lot of stuff in your drawers that you're going to dig up and make these pretty collections with.